Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 783 of lead code called minimum distance between binary search tree nodes. Before I start with the video guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. And let's get started with the problem statement now. So basically guys, we are given a root of a binary search tree and we want to find out the minimum difference between the values of any two different nodes. So for example, in this case, you can see that we have got a node 4, 2, 1, 3, 6 and the minimum distance between any two nodes is actually 1 because the two smallest uh, difference having nodes are 1 and 2. So if you subtract 1 and 2, you'll get 1. If you subtract 2 and 3, you'll get 1. If you subtract 3 and 4, you'll also get 1. So if you subtract 4 and 6, you will get 2. So that's why the minimum difference is 1 and that's why the answer is 1. Another example here guys, so you can see that the difference of 0 and 1 is obviously 1. And if you do not consider that difference, all the other difference between all different nodes is obviously higher than 1. So that's why the answer is 1 here. The constraints are pretty straightforward guys that the number of nodes in the tree is in the range of 2 to 100 and the value ranges from 0 to 10 to the power 5. Okay. Now uh, let's jump to the solution approach guys. So in the solution approach, what we are going to do, we are going to actually do a in order traversal. So we all know that guys that in order traversal gives us a sorted order of tree nodes. And because the order of three nodes is sorted in, in order, we can actually check out the difference between the two subsequent nodes and find out that if that difference is minimum difference or not. Because we know that uh, if it is a sorted uh, order of nodes, then obviously the minimum difference is going to be found between the two consequent nodes. Okay. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to find out an in-order traversal and in in-order traversal we will keep on finding out the difference between the, between the previous node and the next node and if that difference is uh, lesser than the previous value we will update our result otherwise we will just simply return that. Okay. So now that the approach is finalized guys let's go to the coding part. So the first thing is I'm going to just uh, declare the result value here and I'm going to initialize the result value to integer dot max value because eventually we have to return the minimum value. Okay. Then I'm going to create a node called as previous and I'm going to initialize it to null. So this previous node is going to have the previous node value. And then there will be a current node value which we will have in our in-order traversal. And we are just going to subtract these values and find out if that difference is lesser than the result value or not. If it is less, we will update the result. If it is more, we will not update the result. So let's create our in-order function now. Private void in-order tree node root. First thing is if root is equal equals to null, so then we are just going to return from that statement and that's our early return. Then we are going to do in order root dot left. So we will go towards the leftmost node and once we are at the leftmost node, we want to find out if that node is having the difference which we want. So for that we will first check if the previous value is equals to null or not. So obviously if we are at the leftmost node, so if I am at the leftmost node, the previous value will always be null because that's our first node in the in order traversal. But if I, uh, if I go from 1 to 2, if I go to the next node in the in order traversal, the previous node will become 1. Okay. So then I can actually find out the difference between the current node and the previous node. So that's why it is important to have the null check for previous node here. So if previous is not equals to null, then result becomes equals to math dot minimum of result comma root dot val minus previous dot val. If this thing is okay, if uh, the result is you know sorted out and everything is okay, then we will just change the previous value to the 
root value. So now that we have found out the difference between the current node and the previous node, the current node becomes the previous node now and we'll go to the next node in which case, uh, in this case, uh, in, in order of reversal, the next node is our right node. So root dot right. So once this function is completed guys, in the end the result variable will have the minimum difference value. So in order root return result. Let's run this code guys. Let's see if this works with other sample cases or not. You can see guys that uh, the output is accepted. So let me submit this code for other sample cases as well. And there you go guys, you can see that this submission is successful. If I talk about the time complexity guys, then obviously the time complexity is order of n because we are going through each and every node uh, in, in order reversal. If I talk about the space complexity, then we are not using any extra space. If I don't consider the recursion stack as an extra space, we can say that we are not using any extra space. So we can say the space is order of 1. So that was the video guys. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope the solution was clear to you. If it is uh, what something you like then please do like this video and share this video with your friends as well. And please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for future notifications. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video guys. Uh, please do write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.